shadows. You are mighty on your throne. God, you reign, you reign, you reign. Ancient Zion King. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. God, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. Ancient Zion King. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign. Ancient Zion King. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. 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 Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. 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 You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. Kali Rabaraba. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. You live above the earth. You sit on the circuit of the wind. You are mighty on the throne. Mighty on your throne. Lord, your reign has no end. Your power reigns supreme. You're mighty on the throne. You are mighty on your throne. I love you, Lamb of God. I need you, Lamb of God. I praise you, Lamb of God. I honor you, the Lamb. I praise you, Lamb of God. I praise you, Lamb of God. I praise you, Lamb of God. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, ancient Zion King. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. My father, I love your name. The mighty on your throne. We worship you. We worship you. And great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Really to be praised. Really to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Really to be praised. Really to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Really to be praised. Really to be praised. Father, you reign. Yeah. 
We worship you. Ah, Father. Do I say I love you? Do I say I need you? Do I say I'm grateful? What more can I say? Should I say I love you, Lord? Should I say I need you? Should I say I'm grateful? What more can I say? Do I say I love you? Do I say I need you? Do I say I'm grateful? What more can I say? Do I say I love you? Do I say I need you? Do I say I'm grateful? What more can I say? Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Worship you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's be the Lamb of God. We are taking a prayer from Daniel chapter 3, chapter 10, verse 13. Daniel chapter 10 and verse number 13. Daniel 10, 13. Daniel 10, 13. Daniel 10, 13. Daniel 10, 13. Daniel chapter 10 and verse 13. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 120, one and twenty days. That's 21 days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. And I remained in I remained there with the kings of Persia. With the kings of Persia. With the kings of Persia. Hmm. I want us to open our eyes by the Spirit of God to something very briefly on the importance and the value of the angelic ministry. If there is something I've taken my time to study very well, scripturally, prayerfully by encounter, is the ministry of angels. And wonders without number, you need to understand, the rest of pillar is the word of God. But we explore the activities of angels. We explore the angelic ministry. That is why some of the things that happen on, in this family is mind-blowing. There are things that people find it hard to believe. They find it hard to come to terms with. Because these are the work of, of the angels. Angels are not to be worshipped. Angels are not to be bowed to. Angels are not to be revered. But you must understand that angels have an assignment. When you become a child of God, you open up your life and yourself to angels. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14, Are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to them that, can be, that shall be called the heirs of salvation? Are they not ministering spirits? So, where you become born again, heirs of salvation, you are entitled to an angel, to the ministry of an angel. They are ministering spirits. Matthew chapter 4 verse 11 says, An angel, Satan, Satan left him, departed from him, and angels came and ministered to him. Matthew 4 11. And Mark 1 13 say, And angels ministered to him. That's the duty of the angels. Their duty is to minister to you. Okay? To be there at your beck and call. Who is the minister? One who waits on you. One who is at your beck and call. You can give instructions. You're not to worship them, you have to instruct them. Okay? Now, the angelic ministry, in Psalm chapter 91, verse 10, the Bible says, and it shall give his angels charge. How do angels walk? They are charged. You give them declaration. Okay? You give them declaration. And it shall give his angels charge. It's 11, rather. Psalm 91, 11. You give them charge. You give them instruction. You tell them what to do. That's how angels walk. They have to be given charge. So if somebody opens his mouth in midst of pain, say, oh, and says he's dead, the angels can take your life because you have given them charge. And that's why I tell believers to be careful of negativity that comes out of your mouth. The Bible says, don't say before the angel, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, don't say before the angel, it was an error. 
Oh, I didn't mean it. No, once you say something, they take it up. Okay? The angel of God stood around Stephen to protect and pre preserve Stephen. Okay, look at that. Um, Ecclesiastes 5 verse 6. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say before the angel it was an error. Why should God be angry at that voice and destroy the work of thy hand? So all those stories, some of them just get angry. Hey, life is finished. The angels take over that word and they make sure the life is finished. Doctor gives a report and you say, hey, death. The angel makes sure that death is activated. Don't say before them it was an error so long it comes out of your mouth. So you must be very careful the things you say because angels are charged. You charge them. That is why no matter what you are saying, going through, when you are saying, I shall not die. You are not just only trying to put on a front or trying to grandstand. You are giving instructions to the ministry spirits around you. So they start activating issues that would, you know, gear towards your, your declarations. They have to be charged. That's the ministry of the angel. You charge them. You charge them. I'm going to teach you something very important. Encounters are not perfect. See, one of the highest level of encounters, angelic encounter, Genesis 28, I believe from verse 12. Genesis 28, when Jacob saw angels as descending, sorry, ascending and descending, it was an encounter. A ladder was set before heaven. So angels are connecting ladders between the heavens and the earth. An angel is a connecting ladder between the heavens and the earth. There's nothing like Old Testament angel or New Testament angel. Christ did not die for angels. So nobody can separate angels of the old and angels of the new. Christ died for man. Christ never died for angels. So the angels of the New Testament, New Testament, if you want to study angels, you study them from the old down to the new. Scripture was not, there are no, test, no special testament written to angels. They are written to us. But we can see all the activities of the angels. You see that? So you have to be born again. You have to know how to charge them. And you have to fear God. Your fear of God is what empowers the angels at your command. Psalm chapter 34 verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that feared God. Once you, are, once you develop this fear for God, this hatred for iniquity, angels encamp. They don't just come and recite. They, they build a wall around you. They build a wall. They build a wall around you. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that feared God and delivered them. They are committed assuredly to your deliverance so your fear for god empowers them now when the angel of the lord encamp round about you the angel of the lord preserves helps you deliver. you don't pray to them like i said you give them instructions you give them command you charge them psalm 91 11 you charge them you tell them what to do the Bible says in verse 13, he said, The prince of Persia withstood me, resisted me, he stopped me. You give the angels instruction. You don't worship them. Whenever you want to see angelic ministry, let me tell you one thing that happens. Once you are a giver to the work of God, Charity, to helping people, you, 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 you communicate with angels. This one is not just them encamping. You can meet them. You can meet them. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2. The Bible says that by some have entertained angels unaware. You meet them. If you are that person who opens up, you have a giving spirit. You command the ministry of angels. You can even practically, practically meet them. You can have encounters with them. They can come to you in the form of a man. But they are not men. They are spirits. Angels are spirits. Okay? Psalm 104 verse 4. Who make it his angels spirits and his ministers flames of fire. But when you are somebody who entertains strangers, who is a giver, you practically can even have an encounter. You, in your daily activity, you can have an encounter with an angel. And you may not be aware that that angel, that's a spirit that transformed to a man, just had an encounter with you. Fear the Lord. Be born again. Give them charge. Help the poor. Be a giver. And number five, in Luke chapter 12, verse 8, I believe. It says, He that confess me before men, I will confess before my father. Never be ashamed of Jesus. Never be ashamed. He said, He that confess me before men, I will confess before my father. And also before the angels. 
So never be ashamed of Jesus. Never be ashamed of talking about Jesus. Don't hide your Bible. Don't, don't carry your Bible and hide it somewhere. Or carry your Christianity, hide it somewhere. Always, are you, are you one of those church people? No, I'm not just one of those church people. I am a Christian. I'm a committed member of social church. I'm a committed member of the body of Christ. I love Jesus. Identify with God. Don't let people ridicule your God and you are quiet. When you do that, you are, you are making your angels redundant. People are ridiculing your God. People are being despicable about your God. And you are quiet. You are not saying anything. Because as far as you are concerned, you are trying to be neutral. You don't do that. What you do, which is very important, is that you try your best. Very importantly. Very importantly. You try your best to make sure Make sure, make sure you always talk about Jesus. 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 Let's talk about Jesus. There's a song that says, Let's talk about Jesus. The King of Kings, He is the Lord of Lords Supreme throughout eternity. The great I am the way, the truth, the life, the door. Let's talk about Jesus more and more. Talk about Jesus. Evangelize. Anything that has to do with soul winning, be involved. Anything that has to do with blessing life or the gospel, be involved. You are empowering the ministry of the angels. Talk about Jesus. Don't be ashamed of him. But this prayer we are praying here today. The Bible says that Daniel needed to get help. And Daniel cried. And something happened. Yeah. Talk about Jesus. All the time. All the time. Whenever you hear me talk about Jesus, He's the owner of my soul. Whenever you hear me talk about Jesus, He's the owner of my soul. Whenever you hear me I talk about Jesus, He's the owner of my soul. Whenever you hear me, I talk about Jesus. He's the owner of my soul. Whenever you hear me, I talk about Jesus. He's the owner of my soul. Whenever you hear me, I talk about Jesus. He's the owner of my soul. He's the owner. He's the owner. He's the owner of my soul. He's the owner. Is the owner, is the owner of my soul. Is the owner, is the owner, is the owner of my soul. Is the owner, is the owner, is the owner of my soul. Is the owner, is the owner, is the owner of my soul. Is the owner, is the owner. Is the owner of my soul? Is the owner? Is the owner? Is the owner of my soul? Is the owner? Is the owner? Is the owner of my soul? Is the owner? Is the owner? Is the owner of my soul? Is the owner? Is the owner? Is the owner of my when you talk about Jesus, empower the angels. It's about the prince of the kingdom of Persia. Daniel prayed. Why did Daniel pray? Daniel saw that the days of captivity in the land of Babylon was over. But the people were still in captivity. He needed to pray down freedom. First of all, he had to pray the freedom down in the realm of the spirit. You see, when you pray and pray and pray, don't just walk out of the place of prayer. You don't pray till you are tired. You pray till you have peace. Even if it takes you five hours, ten hours, two days to get to that point when there is peace like a river. Yeah. So Daniel prayed and prayed, but his spirit was still restless. He knew there was still something that needed to be done. The answer was suspended. The result was held to his prayer. The answer was no more in heaven because heaven had dispatched it. But neither was he on earth. And there are people like that. Their answers have left the throne. Oh God, I want to get married. And God is saying, I've released your wedding. What's going on? 
I preached a message some time ago when your answer is in between. God said, but I've released your husband. You've been praying, I've released your husband. I've released your child. What's going on? There's a power holding it. And the Bible said, the angel, angel, one of the princes came. One of the princes came and helped him. He sent Michael, a prince, a prince, and prince, and helped him, and helped him, and helped him, and helped him, and released the answer to Daniel. I'm going to pray a prayer right now. That in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, this season of my life, I receive angelic assistance. Amen. This season of my life, I receive angelic assistance. Amen. I like you to type, it's my season for angelic assistance. Type that now on your handle. Let the angels be aware. Let the Lord see it. It's my season for angelic assistance. We have seen the work of angels in our ministry and we have seen it was so, it's so serious that people can understand and they are so critical of it. It's my season for angelic assistance. Type it right now and hashtag wonders without number. It's my season for angelic assistance. It's my season for angelic assistance. Amen. It's my season for angelic assistance. Amen. Amen. Type it. It's my season for angelic assistance. Amen. Amen. Type it now and hashtag wonders without number. Type it on your handle. It's my season for angelic assistance. Amen. Amen. And hashtag wonders without number. Do it right now. Do it right now. It's a new season in your life. Amen. It's a new opening for you. Amen. Amen. It's my season for you. So we are going to take a prayer right now. And we are going to talk to the Lord. And we are going to tell the Lord, as I pray, this season, I receive angelic assistance. Amen. As I pray, this season, I receive angelic assistance. Amen. As I pray, this season, I receive angelic assistance. Amen. As I pray, this season, I receive angelic assistance. Amen. As I pray, this season, I receive angelic assistance. Amen. You will lift up your voice in the place of prayer now and you will cry loud and clear in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But before they will make this confession, this season, I receive it's my season, rather, for angelic assistance. It's my season for angelic assistance. It's my season for angelic assistance. It's my season for angelic assistance. Amen. It's my season for angelic assistance. Amen. It's my season for angelic assistance. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray that prayer, that confession for seven times. It's my season for angelic assistance. Amen. Number one. It's my season for angelic assistance. 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 Angelic. I'm going to pray. As I begin to pray, this season, I receive angelic assistance. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. As I begin to pray. As, as, I, begin to pray. Pray. as I begin to 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 Help me. Say in the name of Jesus. In, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. As I pray. As I pray. This season. This season. I receive. I receive. Angelic assistance. Angelic assistance. Angelic assistance. Angelic assistance. Angelic Open your mouth and turn into prayer right now. Angelic assistance. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, that's important, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. Twenty-one days. But then I kept on praying. I'm going to ask the grace for consistency in the place of prayer. Amen. Oh Lord, I received the grace for consistency. Amen. Then I didn't give up. He continued. Luke 18 verse 1. He spoke a parable to this end. Saying, men ought always to pray. What prayer can't do, more prayers will do it. What prayers can't do, more prayers will do it. You have to be persistent in prayer. Psalm 65 verse 2. Thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Psalm 4 verse 1. Hear me when I call, O God, my righteousness. Psalm 61 from verse 1. Hear my cry, O Lord, attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I crown to thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. There is power in prayer. There is power in prayer. So, you must ask for the grace. There are people today, they are on fire this week. The other week, they are, they are cold. You know the Bible calls such people in Revelation? Look one. Revelation chapter 3. It says, because you are neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. You will not be lukewarm. Amen. You will not be lukewarm. Amen. We're going to take a prayer right now. I receive grace to be consistent and persistent in the place of prayer. Amen. Grace to be consistent and persistent in the place of prayer. Amen. Say, my father, my father. Mon père, mon père. My father, my father. Mon père, mon père. Father, my father. As I begin to pray, As I, que je prie, I receive grace. Je I receive la grace. To be consistent, to be consistent, and persistent, and persistent in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. To be consistent, to be consistent, and persistent, and persistent in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Consistent, 
consistent and persistent and persistent in the place of prayer. In the place of mountain fire prayer. Ya 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 
In Jesus name. Yes. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I, I connect. connect. From today, begin to enjoy angelic assistance. Amen. Amen. Begin to enjoy angelic assistance. Amen. Amen. I decree swift, speedy, spontaneous angelic assistance. Amen. Amen. That shall become your portion from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Connect your faith to my faith. I, I connect. There's a lady. Wow. Wow. Somebody gave you a gold necklace as a gift. And you notice from the day you wore it, you had goosebumps all over you. From that period, you have a terrible problem around your neck. You can't even turn your neck. If you want to turn your neck, you have to turn the whole body. It's like your neck is stiff. 
and you trace back, this problem dates back to when you wore a necklace around your neck. Whatever was fired into your body, I command it disappear. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here, as you say to people, 11 of you. There are family members that you lost contact with. You know it from them. Whether they are dead, whether they are alive. Some of them as much as 38 years. Some of them as much as 27, 19, 7, 4 years. You know it from them at all. God see in the next 48 hours, you will hear from them. Amen. You will hear from them. Amen. Amen. 